Hey everyone, and welcome to question one associated with the prevalence and incidence lecture. As usual, I recommend you pause the video, attempt the question on your own, and then watch the remainder of the video to determine whether you did it correctly. So in this case, there are five patients who are followed for two years for development of a disease with clinical courses as shown below. And we are asked to determine the following value. So first, the prevalence at 12 months. So again, the prevalence is the number of patients with the disease at one point in time. So what we would do is draw a vertical line at 12 months, say how many patients are still alive in the population and how many have the disease at 12 months. So we see that patient four will have already died prior to six months. And therefore the prevalence at 12 months would be one, two, three over four. Three over four. The incident, then we're asked to determine the incidence between six and 18 months. And again, the incidence is among patients at risk of developing the disease, how many go on to develop it? So if we look at six months, patient four has already passed away, and patient two already has the disease. And therefore, there are only three patients at risk, patient one, patient three, and patient five. Those are the only patients who could develop a new case of the disease starting at six months. And we see between six and 18 months, patient one develops the disease and patient five develops the disease. And therefore the incidence between six and 18 months would be two out of three. Prevalence incidents seem very straightforward at first, but there are some tricks that you need to be aware of, such as on this question. So if you have trouble, I really encourage you to um, attempt the question again, rewatch the associated lecture. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, and good luck.